Module 8, Level Turns, Climbing Turns, and Descending Turns. Introduction. Module 8 explores the fundamental techniques and considerations for executing level turns, climbing turns, and descending turns in an aircraft. These maneuvers are essential for navigation and altitude management, requiring precise control inputs and continuous instrument monitoring. Proper execution ensures the safety and efficiency of flight operations, minimizing risks and maximizing control. Level turns. Level turns involve changing the aircraft's direction while maintaining a constant altitude. The key steps include 1. Banking the aircraft. Apply aileron input using the yoke to roll the aircraft to the desired bank angle. Maintain a coordinated turn with the appropriate bank angle. Avoid excessive bank angles to prevent increased load factors and potential loss of control. 2. Apply rudder. Use the rudder pedals to counteract adverse yaw. Maintain coordinated flight during the turn using the rudder pedals. Balance rudder and aileron inputs to ensure a smooth turn. 3. Maintain altitude. Use the yoke to apply elevator inputs to maintain altitude. Apply forward or backward pressure on the yoke to prevent altitude loss or gain during the turn. Monitor the altimeter and vertical speed indicator, VSI, to ensure level flight. 4. Monitor instruments. Attitude indicator. Ensure the correct bank angle and pitch. Turn coordinator. Confirm coordinated turn. Altimeter and VSI. Hold a constant level altitude. Climbing turns. Climbing turns involve turning the aircraft while simultaneously gaining altitude. The key steps include 1. Initiating the turn. Rotate the yoke, left or right, to the desired bank angle using the correct aircraft aileron input. Start the climbing turn with the desired bank angle. Keep the bank angle moderate to avoid excessive load factors. 2. Pitching up. After the desired bank angle is reached, gently pull back on the yoke to raise the nose. Increase the angle of attack for the climb. Use the trim to relieve control pressures so the aircraft can hold the desired pitch attitude. Avoid an excessive pitch that could lead to a stall. 3. Increase throttle. Apply the necessary throttle to provide additional thrust. Use the required engine power to achieve the desired climb rate. Monitor the engine performance to avoid overloading the power plant. 4. Monitoring instruments. Air speed indicator. Maintain a safe climbing speed. Vertical speed indicator, VSI. Ensure a steady rate of climb. Attitude indicator. Verify bank angle and pitch. Turn coordinator. Check for coordinated flight. Descending turns. Descending turns involve turning the aircraft while decreasing altitude. The key steps include 1. Initiating the turn. Rotate the yoke, left or right, to the desired bank angle, using the aircraft correct aileron input. Start the turn with the desired bank angle before lowering the nose. Maintain a moderate bank angle to control descent rate. 2. Pitching down. Gently push forward on the yoke to lower the nose. Decrease the angle of attack for descending altitude. Use the trim to relieve control pressures so the aircraft can hold the desired pitch attitude. Avoid excessive pitch to prevent rapid altitude loss. 3. Reduce throttle. Use the throttle to gradually reduce engine power. This will aid in controlling the airspeed during the descent while turning. Smoothly manage the throttle to avoid abrupt airspeed changes. 4. Monitoring the instruments. Airspeed indicator. Ensure descent speed is within safe limits. Vertical speed indicator, VSI. Use the VSI to maintain a controlled rate of descent. Attitude indicator. Confirm the bank angle and pitch. Turn coordinator. Ensure a coordinated turn of the aircraft. Discussion key points. Executing level, climbing, and descending turns requires a balance of control inputs and continuous monitoring of flight instruments. 
Key considerations include coordination, proper use of ailerons, rudder, and elevator to maintain control and efficiency. Thrust management, adjusting throttle settings to support the desired climb or descent rate. Instrument monitoring, vigilant observation of flight instruments to ensure safe and controlled maneuvers. Conclusion. Level turns, climbing turns, and descending turns are fundamental maneuvers for safe and efficient flight operations. By mastering these techniques and maintaining vigilant instrument monitoring, pilots can execute turns with confidence and precision. Proper coordination of control inputs and thrust management is essential to achieving smooth and controlled altitude changes while turning. This concludes Module 8 Climbing and Descending Turns. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more in-depth aviation tutorials and tips, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below with your questions, experiences, or any tips you have for fellow pilots. Thank you for watching, and happy flying!